Hi, in this eighth video in the series on conversions and scientific notation, I'm going to be looking at how to convert area and volume. And so it's slightly different than the conversions we did in the last video, the seventh one, uh, because those we were doing either linear measurements like meters to inches, or we were doing measurements like uh, compound units like meters per second to miles per hour or vice versa. In this unit, we're looking at something like uh, inches squared to centimeters squared. And so that's actually the first example we're going to take a look at. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at converting 9 inches squared uh, into centimeters squared. Now I want to point something out. 9 inches squared does not mean that you have a square with 9 inches on each side. If you multiply this, you actually get 81, right? This would be 81 inches squared. 9 inches squared means you actually have a square that's 3 by 3. 3 times 3 is 9, so this is 9 inches squared. So. If you wanted to look at a box that's 9 inches squared, you actually take the square root to find how many, uh, uh, how long each side is, okay? So, remembering that inches, or that units rather, are taught uh, to, they cancel, okay? So they cancel just like variables do. So, we previously looked at something like 2x. Well, now we're going to look at something like 2x squared, okay? Because note that our unit here is squared. So if I take 2x squared and I multiply by y over x like I did before, okay, I end up with 2 and then this x cancels out with one of these x's. There's two of them, right? So this is really like 2 times x times x. So I cancel out with one of them, but I'm still left with the other, so I just have 2xy. Well, if my purpose in doing this was to get rid of the x's and be left with y's, I didn't succeed. So instead, what we can do is we can go back and we can say, okay, I've got 2x squared. Let's square this entire conversion factor, which by squaring that, we actually end up with y squared over x squared. Okay? Remember that squaring the parentheses, y over x, is the same as squaring each thing in the parentheses. Okay? As long as we're only multiplying or dividing in there. So when we do this, this x squared now cancels out with this squared, x squared, and we're left with 2y squared. Okay? So that's just kind of a little aside as to how variables can cancel. Now we're going to look at it using units. So we're going to look at this 9 inches squared, and we're going to convert it to centimeters squared. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take this 9 inches squared, and we need a conversion factor. So if you recall from before, it turns out that 1 inch is 2.54 centimeters. Okay? So that's the conversion factor we need to use, because this needs to equal 1, remember. So I've got inches on top here, or you know, in the numerator. I need to cancel out inches. So I need 1 inch down here, and I need 2.54 centimeters here. But again, I've got inches squared, so I need to do this twice. Now, I've got this inch canceling out with one of those inches. I've got the second inch canceling out with the second of those inches. Okay? So what I end up with is 9 times 2.54 times 2.54, which I believe equals 58.1 centimeters squared. Note that we're left with centimeters and centimeters, which when multiplied together is centimeters squared. Okay? Now, the one thing about this is that it can be easier than this. So you notice before, when I multiplied by y over x, I just squared the entire thing. Well, instead of doing this, I can just say, hey, we've got 9 inches, 2.54 centimeters over 1 inch. And by the way, this is 9 inches squared. And we're just going to square this whole conversion factor, because something times itself is the same as squaring it. Well, that's then the same as taking 9 inches squared times 2.54, now if I square the outside, I have to square everything on the inside. 2.54 squared centimeters squared over 1 squared inches squared. Well, so then you see that my inches squared cancel out with inches squared. I'm dividing by 1 squared, which is just like dividing by 1, which keeps your number the same. Then I have 9 times 2.54 squared, 9 times 2.54 times 2.54, and I'm left with centimeters squared as my units. So there's our final answer. Quick check for reasonableness. We said before that this was kind of like a box that was 3 by 3. That's not actually 3 by 3. Let's try to state a scale here. 
So three inches is about yay big or so. Now we know that there's one inch is 2.54 centimeters. So it turns out each of these sides is about 7.6 centimeters, which is the same as Aaron's three inches. Okay, three inches, 7.6 centimeters. So if we take three times three, we get nine inches. If we take 7.6 times 7.6, Oops. We get 57.8 or so, and that this was rounded, so you can see that's close to our 58.1. So if we just convert just the side of this box and then perform our operation to find the area, we get the same answer as if we just convert it. Okay? We're going to do one more example, and this one's going to be for volume. Now, this is kind of how this conversion works. This is the method I'm going to use more often. Okay? Just it's a little quicker, cleaner, easier. So we're going to be doing that more often. Last example in this series overall. We're going to take 2.5 meters cubed and we're going to convert that to feet cubed. Okay? I don't know how many feet cubed are in 2.5 meters cubed. Okay? So we're going to start with our 2.5 meters cubed. And we need a conversion factor. Let's, let's think about our path here. If we're going to get from meters cubed to feet, I know that I can get to centimeters from meters. I know I can get to inches from centimeters. And I know I can get to feet from inches. Okay? There are other ways to do this conversion. You could, you could convert directly from meters to feet if you know a conversion factor to do so. This is just the one that a lot of people think of. So our conversion factors. Let's do those in red this time. Well, we've got meters cubed to centimeters. I know I want centimeters on top, and I want meters on the bottom. This is my conversion factor, but I need to do so three times. Okay? Now, then, I want to get from centimeters to inches, so that's, again, 2.54 centimeters, but because I have centimeters on top here, I want centimeters down here. So now the centimeters will cancel out the centimeters. So it's one inch. And last of all, I have inches to feet. Inches are on top, so I want inches on bottom. 12 inches in one foot. Note that for all of these, we need to cube the conversion factor. And here's where I'm going to suggest that you be very careful. It is so easy to forget to do this. So, what I would normally do is make sure that it's very explicit. This is the same as doing 2.5 meters cubed times, now I'll do our conversion factors in red again, we have 100 cubed centimeters cubed over 1 cubed meter cubed. Then we have 1 cubed inch cubed over 2.54 cubed centimeter cubed. And last of all we have 1 cubed foot cubed over 12 inches cubed, 12 cubed inches cubed. The reason I like this is because now we can go through and check our units. Meters cubed cancel with meters cubed, centimeters cubed with centimeters cubed, inches cubed with inches cubed, and we're left with feet cubed. So to calculate this final answer, we would take 2.54, 2.5 rather, times 100 cubed, don't forget to cube it, divided by 2.54 cubed, divided by 12 cubed. So it would look like times 100 cubed divided by 2.54 cubed divided by 12 cubed. And I believe when you do so, you should get something like 88.3. The unit we're left with is feet cubed, and that is our final answer. Okay? So when you do converting a volume and area, don't forget that you have to either square or cube your conversion factors accordingly.